people of Athens, greetings. I am Paul of Tarsus. Greetings, Paul. I am Dionysus, the Areopagite. The, Are the, the, Are the aeroplane? The Aero Pilates instructor? <laughs> no, airplane? What a silly made up word. Complete nonsense. I said Areopagite. I hang out here at the Areopagus and talk with all the smart people about smart things. Uh, okay. You people in Athens seem very religious. Oh, yes. Uh, you see, I checked out 14 different worship services on Facebook Live this morning. Can you believe it? Uh, great. You, you heard me say 14, right? 14! I tell you, I'm so religious. That must have taken... Almost all day. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I just sort of scrolled through them and listened for a minute or two. It's, I, I like to spiritually graze. It's like a religious buffet table here in Athens. You know, mmm, the, that's a tasty song. And ooh, oh, yes, what a filling homily. And oh, wow, I, I've never seen a baptism done with hand sanitizer. You know, you, you can just pick and choose the parts from each one you like. I see. You know the people that only eat at buffets get out of shape and die of heart disease, right? Are you insulting me? You better watch out, buddy, because I'm about to give you head diseased with my fist. <laughs> okay. Um, while you're catching your breath, I saw this altar to an unknown god in your city. I want to make this unknown God known to you. Oh, oh okay. Oh, then I'll let this insult slide this time. Uh, you know, I've been wondering, what's the deal with this God? Well, this is the God of Israel. This is the God that made the whole world that puts you here in Athens. And you Greeks have learned some true things about him just by using those minds he gave you. Oh, good. All right. So now tell me what he looks like and I'll fix the statue so it looks like him. Um, let's see. All right. We'll start at the top here. Uh, how many heads does this God have? Is he, is it big marm muscles, a beard, no beard? No, we, we can get no, this all no, fixed. No. He's not a gold or wood or stone God. He's the God of the whole universe. And this God just recently sent his son to be a man, Jesus Christ, who is going to judge the whole world. Well, how do we know that? Because he raised his son from the dead. Um, I'm sorry. I thought you just said raised from the dead. I must be dizzy from the running still. Right. I, I, I did. He, he did. That seems unlikely. Oh, it was extremely unlikely. I didn't even believe it myself at first. But then I saw the resurrected Jesus. This idea is going to take some time to get used to it. I, I think we might leave the question mark on the altar here for now. Suit yourself. But what's the point of asking questions about God if you don't want the answers God gives us? But see, if we have the answers, then we might have to do something about them, like change the way we live. I mean, serve others, pay attention and worship through the entire church service instead of just loading the video for a moment so everyone can see your name in the chat. Yep. That, that seems hard. A little bit, but it's also the most wonderful thing to live a life following Jesus. Wonderful? The best. Okay, show me how to follow Jesus. Great, let's go.